mukbang, 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 mukbang. I think it's a mukbang. Wait, mukbang? It looks like to me mukbang, so I'm just gonna say mukbang. But anywho, today I'm gonna be doing a mukbang, but vegan fast food edition. Because I'm vegan, I wanted to do something vegan, but I also wanted some junk food, so I thought I'd combine them both and get vegan fast food. So, we are going to Burger King, Five Guys, Taco Bell, and Jack in the Box to get vegan fast food. And then I'm gonna come back to my house with this crazy amount of vegan fast food, eat, I feel like all of it, hopefully, or most of it. I don't wanna like, get a really bad stomach ache. We'll see. But, let's get to these fast food stores, get some food in my stomach. I haven't eaten all day. It is 12.30, so I'm really, really hungry. And I feel like I can eat all this food. Like, honestly, it's gonna be a challenge, but we're gonna do this. Let's get to the fast food restaurants. I thought this challenge was literally just people chewing with their mouth full talking, but I feel like it's more than that. I feel like it's kind of challenging your stomach to eat this much. You know, try not to talk with your mouth full while you're talking and eating, but it's also just talking to you. It's a really comfy video. Like, I'm just gonna sit in my little studio with a blanket and a bunch of food and talk to you. So, I think the first stop is Burger King. So we're at Burger King right now. Here I'm gonna get the vegan apple pie and the french fries, cause both of the, both of those, both of those are vegan. I can help you. Hi, um, I was wondering if I could get the um, vegan apple pie. One apple pie? Yep, one apple pie. And then um, can I also get um, one side of french fries, one side of small french fries? Sorry? Is there anything else vegan on your menu? Like anything that has no dairy, no meat, no eggs? No. No? Okay, no worries. That'd be it. I'm not sure if she knew exactly what vegan meant, but hey, got the two things. Got the food. It smells, actually smells kind of weird because it's like potato and um, apple pie, but I'm excited. We're like looking at the menu right now. We're not sure exactly what we're getting. So we gotta kinda do this fast. Can I get one Skittles slushy? I'm sorry, you're gonna have to yell at me like I'm Okay, no, you're good, you're good. Can't hear you. Okay. Can I get one Skittles slushy? One Skittles slushy? Yes, that's correct. And wow, then that's very loud. Uh, uh, um Hold on, I can't hear you. I'll pick it up traffic real quick. Okay. And then one fresca bean burrito. And then, um, can I get, um, these, what's the cinnamon thing you want? Thing? Like, it's, like the Chiro? Do you have like- Like the cinnamon puffs. The cinnamon puffs? Yeah. We had a really interesting conversation with our Taco Bell, like, guy. He was just, like, talking to us about how tired he was and, um, how he took, like, a nap in the lobby. It was really interesting. Um, but, got the Taco Bell. It smells so good. Like, I want to eat it so so badly and he gave us a large slushy instead of a small slushy so yeah i'm excited i just want to like eat everything right now but i'm gonna i'm gonna just not i'm just i'm not gonna do it but we're going into five guys right now because five guys is not a drive through where we live so we're gonna get a vegan burger and fries and then jack in the box is the next stop after that then i get to eat and chat with you so I just went into Five Guys. I got oh, I got Cajun fries, normal fries, and a vegan burger. I'm excited. This like honestly smells the best. Like my mom, like when I walked into the, like the car, she's like, "That smells so good." I'm like, "I know." Now we're going to Jack in the Box. That's the last stop. So we're at Jack in the Box. They have the chicken teriyaki bowl, but you get it with no chicken. That's what I'm gonna get. Um, but it's really expensive. I think it's like $5.89. I feel like that's kind of, it's not really expensive, but like for fast food, I feel like it is. And then I'm gonna get the side salad, which is $1.99, which is down there. So, we're gonna order. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. So, I got the chicken teriyaki and the side salad. We're heading back to my house and we're gonna eat, or I'm gonna eat and chat with you. I feel like you're gonna get really hungry from watching me eat all this food. <laughs> I like feel like I'm in a maze of fast food right here. Like there's so many bags of food. So I am now home. I'm about ready to dive into everything. I'm gonna try everything and then I'm gonna try to eat everything. We're just gonna chat. So we have the two bags from Jack in the Box right here. Then we have Burger King, Taco Bell, and Five Guys, and then the Taco Bell slushy. I don't even know how to start. Gosh, okay, I kind of feel like Taco Bell right now. So we have the little cinnamon puffs. 
these are literally so good I had one of these or actually I had like two of these in the car I can't lie but I didn't eat anything else and then we have the fresca bean burrito from Taco Bell I told him to put no like dairy, no sour cream, no cheese, no nothing like that. So let's see what this tastes like. I'm really hoping there's no dairy in it. Sometimes they forget to like remove it, but we'll see. Mmm. I'm so happy right now. There's like beans and salsa in this. It's so good. What else is in here? I asked you guys some questions like the other day for me to answer so I'm gonna open them PS I'm not gonna spit anything out unless I like absolutely hate it but like I'm gonna be fully honest if I can't eat the full thing so don't worry about it the first question Taylor asked she asked me how long have I been into makeup I've been into makeup for gosh how long honestly like forever i've always had like a huge connection with makeup like my aunt always had like lipstick in her bag i would draw on my face and just put it on and it was just it was always the funnest thing for me and then i got into it more seriously like actually like like watching makeup videos I had like a lot of like reactions to makeup when I started really getting into it um, and I looked up ingredients I started like really figuring out what was breaking me out and it was all the makeup products I was using so I solved my skin problem by creating a makeup line called Frilliance um, I'll have the website linked down below I'm always out of stock so I always do these text alerts and like on the Frilliance Instagram I'll let you guys know like when I'm restocking but if you have acne and you're feeling like it's from your makeup products, then I would really recommend checking it out because that is what has cleared my skin and I'm just so much more happy and confident now, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna set aside this little bean burrito because like I wanna eat like everything, but like I need to like pace myself. Like I need to try many, many things. So now I'm going into the Five Guys burger. So um, this is the, um, I think it's called Veggie Burger, and it's literally fried veggies and some fresh veggies also. And you can kind of see all the veggies, and then there's like bread on the top and bottom, obviously burger. I'm gonna have a bite of this. I'm about to make such a big mess in my room. It's very veggie-y, like I only taste veggies. It's not that great. Like, after all, this is veggies, but I feel like they could have put more, like, seasoning or, like, salt just to make it taste a little better, but it, it eats. Okay, I'm not a big fan of this. Like, I don't think I'll probably get that again. The veggie burger from Five Guys with no cheese. Mmm. Mmm. I'm... I feel like you could definitely get better. Like the um the fresco bean burrito from Taco Bell is in my opinion better. But also from Five Guys, I got the Cajun fries. I've seen like other people eat them. I'm like, it kind of looks like a french fry with talkie dust. But like less red talkie dust. There's like hair on it. That's lovely. Anywho, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, that's really good. Whoa. It's like spicy. It's actually so spicy. <coughs> Holy guacamole. That's so good though. They like are like talky french fries. Whoa. Okay. I'm curious here. Have you watched the Jaclyn Hill like divorce video? Like she was like talking about it and like from what I could tell I thought like John and Jaclyn were like so in love. They like were high school sweethearts they've been together for like or no I, I know they've been like married for nine years and I was just like when I saw the video in trending I was like oh my god I need to watch this like now and like I got like tears in my eyes from watching it like she was just talking about how she was like also lagging on YouTube for like a year and I feel like recently um one second I've been lagging on YouTube like for the past like few months Honestly, since, like, December, I feel like I've been lagging a little. Like, I haven't been as, like, motivated. Slash, like, 
I've been lazy. It's not that I don't want to post, it's just really hard coming up with new ideas every single week and like every single day for a vlog channel. Like it's really hard to be original and I don't want my videos to be repetitive or boring or very like basic. Um, so... Mm. I like keep on losing my train of thought because this food is so good. But because YouTube has gotten so much harder over the years, like when I started YouTube, it wasn't nearly as hard as it is now. And like when like, I would say like Alicia Marie started, like Mia Stammer, like that was like, I feel like the beginning of YouTube. No, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. No, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of her name. Bethany, like Bethany, um, oh my gosh. Bethany Moda, like remember like her, she was, I don't know if she still does YouTube, I don't watch her videos anymore if she does do like YouTube still, but like that was the start of YouTube and that's like when like whatever you posted did well, like now if you don't work super super hard on a video it doesn't do as well, like YouTube doesn't reward the video. But YouTube's algorithm has gotten so much more like advanced and different so it's really hard to please YouTube and you guys. Uh oh, I have hair from my blanket in my mouth. These Cajun fries from Five Guys are so good. Like, I would highly recommend these. I feel like when they were really hot, they would have been like so, so good. Now they're kind of almost cold, but it's still so good. But anyway, talking about Jacqueline, like, that was just so crazy to me. Like, it's. It's crazy, like, how much you can hide behind the camera, like, for an hour, like she said in the video, like, you can be really, really happy when you're filming, and then, like, right when you turn it off, like, you're a different person almost, um, but what Jacqueline was saying just kind of, like, it was really, like, empowering and meaningful, and I feel so bad of what she's going through right now, um, but I feel like it's so amazing that she shared that, because that's such a big part of her life, um, and I'm really proud of Jacqueline for sharing all of that. Now I'm gonna go into some Jack in the Box. So I got the teriyaki chicken bowl without the teriyaki chicken, but it looks like there's like the teriyaki sauce in here. Like honestly, I don't know how people do this. Like I am already getting full and this is like a problem. Shoot, I know I was talking about something important and then I got like distracted by food again. Um, gosh, what was I saying? Whoa. This is so good. Whoa. You need to like pause the screen right now, go over to Jack in the Box, and get one of these teriyaki chicken bowls with no chicken. Or chicken if you're not vegan. But I don't recommend the chicken because I haven't tried the chicken. But the rice in here is like sushi rice, it's like slightly sweet. And then the teriyaki sauce is amazing on top of it, and the vegetables are cooked so well. Mm. This is so good. Whenever I want, like, a teriyaki bowl, I'm going to Jack in the Box. Because, okay, it was, like, $5, and I feel like the $5 was, like, used to maybe buy, like, healthier ingredients. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Like, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Oh my gosh, it's so flavorful and it tastes healthy. That sounds bad, but like, I don't feel like I'm putting junk in my body. Oh, I remember what I was going to talk about, like when I like lost my train of thought. Um, a lot of people are always like hitting, oh my, I just spit, whatever, that's fine. But I think one of the most hated on things for like me, like I get the most hate comments on is actually my boobs or my bra size. I did a video where I tried out a week's worth of like the most popular bras to find the best bra and I got a lot of hate because people did not think I was a 32D but I want to explain it like thoroughly for you. The band size really determines your cup size because when you go up a band size you go up a cup size. 
So if you're like a 34D or a 36D, you're going up two cup sizes from a 32D. Even though it's still a D, the band size really determines the size of the cup. Because if it's bigger right here, then most likely your boobs are going to be bigger. 32 inches around isn't that big. My boobs like stick out as much as a D, but I'm a 32 band size. So like, I don't know if this is really making sense, but I got fitted at many different places many different times, and they all told me I was a 32 D or 32 double D. Sometimes I even got like a 30 F, but it's because I went down a band size and I went up a cup size. So... It really, really depends, but you have to get yourself, like, checked. I swear I'm actually a 32D, but, like, why would I lie about my bra size? Like, I honestly don't care. Like, if you have really big boobs, it's great. And if you have really small boobs, it's great, too. Like, I honestly don't care what bra size I have. I'm just telling the honest truth that I'm a 32D. I swear I'm not lying. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, I just like stood up. I feel pregnant. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. <gasps> okay, let's get into some more food. I feel like I've taken a little bit of a break. So we have this side salad left from Jack in the Box. Comes in a little cute packet. Low fat, low fat, low fat balsamic dressing. No regret, vinaigrette. That's a good rhyme, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna take a little little bite right here of this side salad with vinaigrette. No regret, vinaigrette. Okay, that's so catchy, even though it's not a song. Mmm. This is good. It tastes fresh. The dressing is so good. I would definitely not regret this salad. Uh -huh. I'm not kidding. I feel like I'm going to start humming, 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 like no regret vinaigrette in my head. And like everyone's going to be like, what song is that? I'd be like, not a song. Um, to sing at Jack in the Box. <laughs> Jack in the Box, you have won me over. I was not expecting Jack in the Box to be this good. Like, I'm going there again. Like, I'm definitely going to go there again. Okay, wait. I knew I had something else that I needed to eat. Burger King. That's what it was. Oh yeah, I got fries at Burger King. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That Well, they're cold, but like, they're not flavorful. Anyway, we have the apple pie in a box. I remember the last time I had this, I was like, whoa, this is vegan. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Right now, I just want to take a big nap after this. I feel like we've chatted. I've eaten too much. Like, too much. Even though I didn't eat all of the food. I ate a majority of it. I can't even eat anymore. Like, I'm actually nauseous now. I had, like, really weird combos of food. Oh my god, I really did have weird combos of food. I had a teriyaki rice bowl, and then I had like Mexican food, and then I had like a hamburger, or like a hamburger, apple pie, french fries that were really spicy, apple pie, and then cinnamon puffs and a slushy that was flavored of Skittles. Wow, that's a lot of food and a lot of flavors. I hope you enjoyed these chats. It was, I feel like it was kind of fun. I feel like I now just need to take a nap. Like I'm not even kidding right now. Like I think I'm gonna go take a nap and just let my stomach kind of repair itself from all these flavors. But honestly, I would highly recommend Jack in the Box out of all these, like that's the definite winner. The teriyaki bowl was amazing. And then the Cajun fries from Five Guys were like really up there too. Taco Bell never fails to disappoint me on these little puffy cinnamon things. But thank you so much for watching me eat my little heart out. I love you so much. Thank you for football. I can't even function now. I'm so full. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for talking to me. And um, I feel like you might be very hungry after this. So I'm going to just kind of give you a little huggy huggies with some food. Um, huggy huggies. <laughs>